Yo, what's going on guys? I'm back with another video and today I am on OS War, which is another old school server. Now this server has a lot of futures, which I'll go over. But starting off, I am not on my own account, this is an actual YouTuber's account and it has some spawn stuff on it. But before we actually go into that, I just want to show off some custom items that they already have on the server, which is Rage 2 armor. They got full just card. And as you can see, it looks really amazing. They got the Grazi Rapier, they got the Avernic Defender, they even got the Sanguins, the whatever stuff, and then the Side of Vitter as well. They also have the Twisted Bow, and with that, all the um, Raids 1 items as well. And some Contribution Wings for if you donate, which look really amazing. They also have the Infernal Nightscape, which also looks awesome. But as we go into the bank, I'll just show ahead. They have all the rates two items in here as well and a bunch of other items they also have a bunch of custom rares as you can see they have these signed party hats barrows party hat and a bunch more and this looks really amazing they also have all the pets in game so yeah that's really cool as well now going to the website of os war there is actually a bunch of stuff that you can do you can um, get daily rewards you actually have a daily spin so if you go to the daily spin, you can just type your in-game name, then the password, and then you can sign in, which I'll do just right now. Alright, so once you are logged in, you can actually get a free spin here. So if we have a look at what we will get, right here it is spinning, and we can get a bunch of items. I have no idea what we can get, it was spinning too fast for that. But um, we got ourselves 200 blood money, as I can see. You can also get 10 vote tickets and a bunch of other stuff. Um, you can just go in game and type invite claim to get your item But there are also a bunch of other things you can do daily Oh, apparently you have more than one spin, which I didn't even know Let's have a look what else we can get And we get ourselves a gearbox, which... Oh, never mind, we get a... Wait, a pursuit crate Which I have no idea what it is once again But still, we can get it in game as well I, Do we have other spins? Okay, we don't so um, you can do this daily, so tomorrow I'll have more spins, but there is also a daily streak which you can get here. So once again, if you log on every day you get a streak. So you can claim, for example, the first day you can get this, then this as well in the first day. Oh, you get these three in the first day, which I didn't know, and then this for the second day, this for the third day, and fourth day, and so on, and so on. And as you can see, you can get a bunch of really cool items in here as well. Now, besides that, there are also the other things which you can um, get some rewards of. For example, if you invite all the players for rewards, right here, uh, you will get an invite link. If you um, enter the game with this link, there are a bunch of rewards that you will be able to get. As you can see, some invite points um, that you will get for people who join through that link. And then these are all the rewards that you will be getting. And as you can see, there are some really cool rewards in here. For example, a blowpipe, a free donator scroll, dragon warhammer, yellow party hat, and a bunch more items. So that's actually really insane. Now, while we are on the website, there is actually this donation store, which has two separate uh, places. So you can actually go to the regular donation store. And as you can see, um, there are a bunch of items in here as well. So we have the contributor, platinum tokens, and a bunch of other stuff that you can buy. However, you can also buy yourselves the monthly donation subscription. So once you are here, you can go ahead and buy yourself, for example, for $14.50 uh, 14 a month, the legendary contributor. And then this will be the benefits that you will be getting throughout that month. However, you have to donate every month to keep on being a legendary contributor. Now, before you get too confused, in game there is also a donation store. And if you talk to him, you can actually buy some stuff in here as well for donator points, which you can also donate for, of course. Uh, for example, the Ring of Wealth, some rares and a cannon. So if you buy yourself some donation points, this is the place where you can actually spend them. For the rest, at this home area, there are some cool areas as well. Um, like this area right here, it's custom made. There is the prayer altar, then the altar where you can actually change your um, magic book. Then the player owned shops where you can buy some um, items of other players. You can also create your own shop and all that good stuff. 
Then here is a chest which you can open with a crystal key, an achievement diary cave, the max cape, the um, Zamorak wizard, then the slayer assignments right here and a shop right here i think let me have a look oh this is for the path now right here or actually just in the center over here there is the same npc but this npc is really cool as you can see when you right click it it has a bunch of options so you can actually open the stores and you can get all the shops right here you can also open the teleports so you see everything where you can go teleporting around the game and stuff and then you also can imbue some rings here or you can um, get a purple slayer helmet over here as well. All right, so now, right now we're going to do something about the um, home area, well, your actual house, because this is really custom to the server and it's actually quite amazing. So if you talk to the estate agent at home, you can say you are interested in buying a house. Now, I suggest it would be to buy a Farrokh house because this is actually the biggest area. And as you can see for them at the moment, you can actually buy a random house for 50 million, but at the moment, um, Cody TH is selling a Baroque house for 25 million, so that will save me a bit of cash. So that's what I will be doing. So right now I have this house right here, and I'll just go ahead and teleport to it. You can buy multiple houses, by the way. And as you can see in this house, there are a bunch of NPCs, but you can actually choose to make your own NPCs and then spawn them and all that good stuff. But before we actually do that, you can also just go to this right here and then click on construction. So for the people who don't know, the construction tab is right here. So if you click on that, you can click on more options and then you have a bunch of options right here. For example, if we go to um, Slayer, if I can find it real quick, um, you can actually make something. Ah, here we go, Slayer. You can actually build a Slayer dungeon for 25 million cash and 1.2k blood money. Right now, I don't have any blood money, so I'll be uh, I'll be getting that in just a second, so I can actually build this. All right, so now before I forget, you actually need a saw and a hammer and all that good stuff before you actually go ahead and start building. Some of these materials will also be needed if you want to build some um, other things. But right now, what I want to do is actually go ahead and um, go build myself a bank boot so I don't have to go to the home area all the time. Now to do that, you can actually just go in your house. Uh, for example, on this spot is where I wanna build a bank boot because I'm never going to use this room, I guess. Um, so I just have the required items right here. To get to the bank booth, you just go to here, banking, click on the bank booth and then build. Um, however, you will need a, oh, there's already something on this location. Well, I guess I'll just build it right here then but you just need a saw to build things like this and as you can see there is a build uh, a bank booth right here now which i can then use to actually bank so this makes life a lot easier all right so once you have actually got your blood money and your coins and then um, not be retorted like me and actually go ahead and take yourself the saws that you need you can actually go back to your house or if you're already here you can actually go ahead and build oh shit i didn't meant to build a uh, bank booth my bad anyways let's go to more options slayer if i can find it and um i am pro oh here we go slayer dungeon built all right there's already an object here built there we go now we have the slayer dungeon in here as well and once you enter here you will be going to a multi-zone area as you can see right here so what you can do here is actually get yourself some npcs the way you do that is go back to more options and then back to Slayer. Or actually, if you go to monsters right here, there are a bunch of monsters that you can um, make right here. For example, Abyssal Demon, which will cost 1.5 mil and 20 blood money. So you can actually build the Abyssal Demon right here. Then we also have a bunch of other, for example, the Lava Dragon, which will be a bit more expensive. But as you can see, there is the Abyssal Demon. The Lava Dragon is now built as well. Um, let's have a look here. There should be some bosses as well. Let's um, get ourselves a really big boss here. Um, let me just have a look real quick. For example, Forkov, which is actually a super big boss, one of the newer bosses as well. So once that is built, as you can see, you have all the NPCs right here and you can actually kill them and they will respawn as well. So that's actually really great. Of course, 
they still have their mechanics and stuff but they will get you your some loot which is really insane so you can actually have your own cave with these bosses and that's actually really nice also it should be a multi area right here so you can actually use barrage to kill them all at once which is really great now you can also sell your house if you go back to the estate agent right here and um, if you say yes sure i'm interested and go to your house for example, I want to sell this one. You can actually sell it for 150 million right here. So I'll put it, um, well, you can actually set your own price, but I'll do 150 million. So there we go. Um, you can now buy the house if you want to. But then again, you can also um, get, well, you can make your house more valuable if you actually put some stuff in it like I did with the Slayer Cave and the Bank Booth and then the NPCs that I placed there that will increase the value of your house so for example this house would be sold for 25 mil right now but if I put some more stuff in it it would be worth quite a bit, a bit more now something else that's really cool is that you can actually prestige your pets now if you go if you want to prestige your pets you just have to talk to talk to Probita at home and uh, you just have to uh, get your pet following you and um, you can say should sure, prestige my lovely pet it will cost you a certain amount of blood money and coins once you do that you can choose to uh, prestige the attack speed or the max attack damage um, for this I'll do the max attack damage because these NPCs can actually follow you um, help you in combat so right now let me go to a boss real quick and then I'll show this now as you can see for example right now I am killing the giant mole and Every time I hit, you will see another damage appear. That is actually my Scotizo pet under me doing some more damage. Let me just see if I can stand here. And um, there we go. You can see the pet actually attacking the giant mole. So that's actually really great. Now at the home area, there is still Sincere right here in the bank, which is the vote shop. So as you can see, you can get some really cool items in the vote shop for vote points. You even can get some PVM caskets, some pursuit crates skill caskets daily skill box and daily gear box for some vote points so that's really great you can also get a bunch of skilling outfits now besides your pets you can actually prestige your skills as well if you talk to dwarf next to the angelville bank you can actually go mm -hmm. ask about prestiging and you will get some rewards for it so if you say yes um, you will have a look here and as you can see I already got a few prestige on my stats Alright, so let's go ahead and prestige cooking So as you can see I just prestige cooking to tier 31 Now what this actually does it gives you a certain amount of bonus experience It also gives you plus 100% uh, XP per prestige But it also gives you an additional drop rate bonus as well as the coins and the blood money that I just got so that's actually really nice. All I have to do to get my max K back now is just complete 99 cooking, but that will take a while. But anyways, that's actually a really cool feature on the server as well. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Definitely come check out OS World because this server has so many custom things that I just can't go over all of them in one video. And it's just such an amazing server. So definitely come check out OS War. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to smash the like button, hit the notification bell, subscribe if you didn't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.